Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidbin.com. So one of the major reasons why many users prefer not to root their phone is because the safety net gets stripped, as a result of which they are unable to use any banking app such as Google Pay, Payments app or other such apps. So due to this growing concern of the inability to use any banking apps, users keep a safe distance from rooting their phone. But it turns out you could easily pass the safety net test. And in this video we'll show you how to do just that. As of now you could see my phone is rooted and safety net is failing. Both the basic integrity as well as CTS profile match are failing. You could use the YAS NAC, yet another safety net adjustation checker app to test this. You can download the app from the Play Store as well to check this and in my case both are now failing. So our ultimate course of action is to pass both these tests. So let's get started. First and foremost do keep in mind that this video is applicable across all the Android phones and is valid across both Android 12 and Android 13. I haven't tested on older Android version but it should work well and good with older Android version as well. So with that in mind let's get started with the steps to pass the safety net. So in this regard your first course of action is to hide the Magisk app. So for that launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon at the top right, then go to hide the Magisk app and then tap on allow apps from the source. Then go back and then give it any name of your choice. In our case we are renaming it to Droidwin so tap OK. Now the Magisk app in our case will be named to Droidwin and it will be hidden from the normalize. Let me show you once. It will also bring up a pop-up asking you to add shortcut to home screen. You can tap on OK for easier access and then click add. So with this our Magisk app has been hidden. Let me show you once. The app has been hidden and we only have the app named Droidwin. This is our new Magisk app. So now that we have hidden the Magisk app, our next course of action is to enable the systemless host. For that go to the settings menu and then enable the toggle or just tap on systemless host. As soon as you do so you should get a message that added systemless host. So go back, go to modules and you should see the systemless host enabled. If it, it is not enabled make sure to enable it right away. Once it is enabled, your next course of action is to enable Zygisk. For that, go to home, then tap on settings and then enable the toggle next to Zygisk. It will now ask you to reboot the phone to uh, implement the changes. So let's now restart the phone. So guys, we have just rebooted the phone. So just to recall, first and foremost, we hit the magic cap and gave it another name. In my case, it's Droidwin. After that, we enabled the we enable the systemless host so that its module is added to the module section and finally we had enabled the Zygisk as you could see. So after that the next course of action is to enforce the deny list. So tap on the settings icon and enable the toggle next to enforce deny list. Once that is done you should now go to configure deny list. For the unaware this deny list is the magic hide that lists all the apps from which you could hide the root. So first and foremost tap on the overflow icon at the top right and check mark show system apps. This will bring up all the apps. So you should first select the app from which you want to hide root. For example in my case I am selecting Google Pay. Make sure not only check mark but also select all its services. So that the blue bar at the top gets completely filled. So this is as you could see the GPA blue bar has been filled. Apart from that you may select all the other apps you want and then there are three compulsory apps from which you want to hide root. These three compulsory apps are Google Play Services, Google Play Store and Google Services Framework. So first and foremost let's go to Google Play Services and enable the toggle next to everyone. As you could see all the services have been enabled. After that do the same for Google Play Store and make sure that the, their blue bars get completely filled. And finally do so for Google Service Framework as well. So these are the three compulsory apps, the Google Play service, the Google Play Store and Google Service Framework for which all these services need to be checkmarked. Apart from that you could select all your desired apps such as Google Pay, Paytm or any banking apps. Once that is done you have added the apps to the configured list. Your next course of action is to flash the USNF module. The USNF module is the universal safety net fix. The link for that module has been given in the description. You can download it from GitHub or from my site. So download it and then go to Magis, go to modules, tap on install from storage and then select the safety net fix module. The module will now be flashed onto your device and once it's flashed you should tap on the reboot button. So let's do that. So guys we have restarted our phone. 
and just to recall we had hidden the magic app after that we went to the magic section and enabled systemless host then we enabled digest and then we enforced the deny list after that we added the apps to this list once that was done we flashed the universal safety net fix module so with this we have done with all the prerequisites now the only course of action is to delete the data of those apps from which you have hidden root in our case that was google pay but apart from that you will also have to remove the data of google play service google play store and google service framework these three apps are compulsory and you have to delete the data of these three apps so let's do this task right away so go to settings apps app management this screen might vary depending on your device we are using a oneplus phone so we are seeing this ui so go there and first and foremost go to google play service go to the storage usage and tap on manage space then tap on clear all data and hit ok after that delete the data of google play store so go there go to storage usage and tap on clear data and hit ok once that is done go to you will have to do so for google service framework you will not see the app here because it's a system app so tap on the overflow icon and select show system you should now see the google service framework app let me show you so here's the google service framework app go there and then go to storage usage and tap on clear data and hit ok with this we have removed the app data of all the three compulsory apps you will now have to remove the data of the app from which you have hidden root in our case it's for gpay so let's go there and remove the data of that as well storage usage clear data ok so with this the data stands removed and you will now have to restart your phone this is extremely important so let's go ahead and restart our phone so guys our phone has been restarted let's now check if the safety net passes or not so launch the app and then tap on run safety net attestation as you could see we are now passing both the basic integrity as well as cts profile match test so with this you have successfully passed the safety net test and you should now be able to use the banking and payments app without any issue so just to recall first and foremost we hit the magic app and gave it another name we hit the magic app and then after that we enabled the systemless host then we enabled zygisk then we enforced the deny list and we added the apps to our list after that we flashed the safety net module fix and finally we removed the data of google play service google play store and google service framework as well as the app of your choice which in our case was google pay finally you should restart your phone and once you restart you will pass the safety net test there is one more thing i would like to discuss when you open the magic app and when you go to the configured deny list there by you could see that the google service framework has been unchecked as well as the google place services is missing from this list this is just a ui bug and nothing to worry about so you should leave this as it is and it's nothing as such so guys on that note we round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks for watching